Hello everyone, in this video I want to go over how we can use pandas and python to search for a condition across multiple excel spreadsheets. Let's jump right in. First, let's look at the workbook that we want to use. Here I'm in pandas workbook and we have a field called age, name, occupation, and then identifier. Let's say that we wanted to return a name of every programmer that we have in our Excel files. We have this Excel file, and then we also have a few others that I've just created of copies of this one. So we have Pandas Workbook Copy 2 and Pandas Workbook Copy. These have the same structure, but I've changed a few of the occupations, that way we can see a different result for each of these two workbooks. Jumping over to our text editor, let's see how we can do this. The first thing we need to do is to import NumPy as MP, and then we'll drop down and import Pandas as PD. Create a variable, Excel file, and this will just be the name of our workbook. So mine is pandas workbook, so pandas workbook.xlsx. Let's only use one workbook for now to see how it works, but at the end we'll loop through and get all the values from each one. We can create a data frame. So let's say data frame is equal to pd.read excel, and then we'll pass in this variable that we just created. So excel file. Now dropping down, we'll say print df and we'll see the result. Open up a command prompt or a terminal and we'll type in python3 and the name of the file. So mine is search excel.py. Hit return and we see that we get a data frame exactly how we expected. The only difference we have is that pandas gives us an index column. This is just because we didn't explicitly state an index column in our read excel function. So now that we have our data frame, let's see how we can return the conditional that we want. We want all the programmers names in our Excel file. So let's say print and then we'll pass in the data frame. So the data frame that we want is this one right here that we just created. Square bracket. We'll go over and copy the column that we want to print if our condition is true. So name, pass that in and then we'll use dot where data frame and do the same thing. We'll go over and pull the occupation for the condition that we want to be true and pass that in is equal to programmer. So we'll go over, copy that and paste that in. Let's save our file and execute it to see if we get the result that we want. When we execute, we see that we're given a series that has names and also NAN values. This is just because these people are not programmers. So we need to drop these NAN values from our series. Let's create a variable called programmers and we'll say that is equal to this line of code that we just typed right here. So we'll copy that and paste it below and now we'll print programmers and then we'll drop NA as a function. Now when we save this and execute it, we should get the series that we had before except without the NAN values. Our result is now just the programmers in our Excel file. This result is just for one Excel workbook though. So let's see how we can do it for multiple Excel workbooks. We're going to drop down and create a new line called Excel files and this is going to be a list of value that has all the Excel file names. There is a way that we can walk through an entire directory and do it for every file within that directory. And if you want a tutorial on that, please let me know. But for now, let's keep it simple. So we'll copy this workbook that we already have here. We'll paste it in. We'll jump back over to the desktop and get this one. So pandas workbook copy, pandas workbook copy dot xlsx. And then the third one will be pandas workbook copy two. So we'll just take this one and copy it, move it over and put the two. So now we have three Excel workbooks that we want to do the same operation to. To do this, we need to use a for loop. So we'll say for individual Excel file in Excel files colon, our data frame will be equal to pd.readExcel and then individual Excel file. We'll go up a little bit and pull this line of code to return the name where the condition is, the occupation is the programmer. And then we'll combine our two lines that we have here so we'll say drop NA at the end of this. And now we can say print and then we'll pass in file name and then we'll say plus. So we'll concatenate a string and then we'll pass in individual Excel file and then we'll print this variable here, programmers. We'll save our file and we'll execute. And when we execute, we should go through each of those Excel workbooks and get all the programmers from each one. We see that we returned all the names of programmers within each file. I've changed a few of the occupations throughout each of the workbook columns. That way we can see that we're not pulling duplications, but actually stepping through each workbook and pulling out the names of each programmer. We're able to return any value that we want using any condition. This includes things like greater than and less than and not equal to. I'll be sure to link a full list of these conditional statements below in the description. Excel does have an if function that we can use inside an Excel workbook. However, it becomes very challenging to start doing this across multiple workbooks for a lot of data. This is where Python really shines through and we can see how simple a Python script is compared to VBA in a similar situation. Let me know how you use this in your own Excel files. I hope it's useful to you. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please let me know. Until next time.